Hello everybody, it's Rhino. Greg here. And we are here at Disney Springs at Wolfgang Puck Express. Um, we thought we would give a, uh, a breakfast a try here. Yeah, we uh, we <clears throat> typically do lunch and dinner reviews at places. Uh, I mean, and especially quick service. So still with the kind of quasi quick service here, but just a different time of the day, which, which is nice. Usually we're not up early enough to actually make it to the breakfast yeah. places before uh, they switch over to lunch. So this is, this is a nice treat. Plus it's at Disney Springs. So uh, no theme park admission required for this one yeah. and don't have to deal with resort parking, anything like that. Just nice, different. Yeah. And it's pretty early in the day too, because I looked it up Wolfgang, uh, Puck Express only serves uh, breakfast from 9 to 11 a.m., so yeah. we had to get here earlier, and that actually made parking and uh, driving a little bit a little bit easier, too, Agreed. you know? So uh, we're going to go inside. I saw some interesting menu items online. I don't want to say what they are yet because I want to see if they still have them, and we're going to go hunt those down. I was going to say, like, a whole dog thing because you woofed at me earlier. I'm not going to do it. So we're just going to go inside and see what they have to offer here. Woof, woof. We walked in to Wolfgang Puck Express and uh, there's no line, which was great for us. And took a look at the breakfast menu, made our decisions, placed our order at the counter, and then we got our little placards, I guess, start three things. Yeah, you know, it, it has the number on it. I guess it would have been great if we would have uh, actually showed that. Yeah. First, doesn't really matter. Either way, they gave it to us and told us it would be about 10-ish minutes until our breakfast would be out. And I would say it was between five and 10 minutes. So uh, prompt, speedy, reliable, friendly, all of the above. And I mean, I don't know if Rhino mentioned what he was uh, looking up in advance for coming here, why he wanted to get here, but uh, he's being the little chunker today. And for once, I am being the healthy one. And I went with the mushroom and spinach egg white omelet. So this masterpiece tour de force costs $13.25, and it includes the egg whites, mozzarella, mushroom, spinach, served with crispy potatoes, so uh, a bit on the healthy side. Let's cut in, see how it is. Our server was nice enough to bring us a variety of ketchups, salt, pepper, hot sauce for whatever our needs might be. Okay. It's not really a great view at first. I mean, it looks good, I'm just saying. It doesn't, it doesn't look that good for video, I'm sure. So let me delicately place this in my mouth. That fluffy pillow. Upon first bite, it's actually really lovely. Uh, it is very fluffy. Omelette, uh, the egg whites have been cooked perfectly. The spinach isn't overly soggy in there. You know, when spinach gets cooked sometimes, it can go from like zero to 60 in terms of getting soggy and disgusting. And I don't like cooked spinach, I like raw spinach, so that's nice. The mushrooms inside actually have a little bit of a sweetness to them balancing the saltiness of the entire omelet. You know, in the mozzarella cheese. So this is actually very nice. I'm I'm happy with it. I, I think it could be upped a little bit with some hot sauce, but it actually doesn't need anything. And that's very rare for us. Usually we have to put something on any breakfast items we get. And this might be perfect just how it is, but I want to get over to you, Chubby. Talk about your food. The thing that I have been waiting to order is the breakfast pizza. This is, um, I am a sucker for any sort of a breakfast pizza. Anytime breakfast pizza is on a menu, I'm getting it. There's no questions asked. So this has, uh, is loaded with scrambled eggs, some cheese, there's chives on here, bacon, caramelized onions, and uh, it's a big, a big, a uh, big lady. And so, um, there's a uh, one, two, three, it's six pieces. Um, I'm definitely not gonna finish this alone. I'm gonna just pull a piece here and dive right in. Um, mm hmm. Crust is nice, crispy on the top, fluffy on the bottom, like myself. This is delicious. It's like, I don't know if this, I don't think this is just regular, I mean it might be just regular pizza crust, but 
with the scrambled eggs and the, the cheese and the bacon. I thought maybe this was just gonna look cooler and better than it was, but this is, this is good. And flavorful, it's, a little, it's got a little bit of that salty thing from the bacon with the little sweetness from the caramelized onion, which is really nice. Um, I don't wanna talk about it, I just wanna eat it more. But my friend, JJ is here too, and he ordered a delicious thing that he's gonna be so kind enough to let me have some, aren't you? You're just the best person. I'm giving him some of the pizza, so it's a fair trade, but he got, that pizza was $14, Craig said that, he got the corn flake uh, French toast, and that was $11, and that is a whopper as well. Look, there's like three pieces on here, and the little things, they're like circles like things here so um i don't want to take the first bite of your food okay if you insist <laughs> go ahead okay oh this is crunchy i could use a knife like a civilized person but <laughs> i choose to be who i am you know sweet jesus okay oh is there did they give you a sharp knife yeah Okay, I'm gonna do a little dip in the sauce here. Okay, this is really good too because it's thinner. Um, I'm not sure what type of bread this is, but that cornflake, I thought it was just gonna be like on top as like a garnish or something like that, and it's like crusty and good and with the it's like it's like a giant piece of cinnamon toast crunch but then you have the fruit the fruit so you don't feel as bad about yourself but I'm gonna give this back to you I'm gonna eat some more of my pizza and let Craig try it maybe we'll see and we'll go from there I guess right I could only stand being healthy for so long so now I'm going to sample the French toast still trying to uh decipher what kind of bread this is. It, it does look like it could be a bagel or something, right? I don't know. It's definitely like got, it's got a, like, I don't know what you call it when bread has the brown part on the outside, the sealant. That's what it's called. The baked outer rim, I don't know. Oh no, you wiped something on your face. I wiped it on my face? <laughs> hold on, hold on. You got egg on your chin. I got okay, egg on my you chin. Got you got egg on your face, son. Yeah, that is shockingly good French toast. It's, uh, it's not, to me, it's not an everyday French toast. I do like a good classic French toast, you know, the, the kind that my mom makes. Like, specifically, not that is like a euphemism. It's, I really enjoy that. It was one of my favorite dishes growing up. But this is excellent. It's, like, crunchy cornflakes on top just adds a nice balance to kind of the, it's not a soggy bread on the inside at all, which you don't want a soggy French toast either, but it is, there's that softness on the inside with the crunchy on the outside. Really, really good. That's, that's really impressive. And I guess I'll try your pizza too. Wow, what a beautiful cut, Craig. Thanks, Craig. I am a fan of anything that's like a lunch or dinner turned into a breakfast style. So breakfast burritos, mm -hmm. breakfast pizzas. It's a good breakfast pizza. I mean, of course, Wolfgang Puck makes a, a hearty pizza to begin with. It's no thrills on the, the ingredients and toppings on top, but it's just made well. It's made right. So. Yeah. Uh, Eggs cooked real good. Yeah, and it's, I mean, the size of it, if you are really, really hungry, maybe you could down the entire thing by yourself. But honestly, it's a, it's a splitting dish. Two people could take this on, no problem. So at $14, you're looking at $7 a person for breakfast. That's actually a really great deal. So I'm going to keep eating, and then we'll uh, say goodbye in a little bit. We are done with our breakfast, and I think it was delicious. Yeah, yeah. it uh, definitely was tasty. 
An update on the French toast situation. We did, in fact, find out that it was a bagel. Yes. Used as the bread for that. So, and they perfect it uh, with the way they fry it down and all that. It's, it's a stacked system. Our, our server was nice enough to explain it all to us. So, but that's, that's what makes it so good. Yeah. It was different. I mean, and... Uh, because it was a bagel, I feel like it didn't absorb all that extra sweetness, which can be both good and bad yeah. when it comes to um, French toast. But it worked for me, and it was definitely, I think for me, as I love the breakfast pizza, but and the omelet was really good, even though mushrooms aren't a big thing for me. I think the French toast was kind of the, uh, ooh, wow. I yeah. would come back and, you know, kind of go out of my way to come here again, like you said. Yeah, that's why I, I said it while we were sitting at the table. I Well, I don't think... The pizza or the omelet was something like, oh, I need to go out of my way to come here for breakfast. Yeah. I actually think the French toast is that item where, yeah. where you would make this a destination breakfast place based on that. But if you're down here at Disney Springs and, and you are looking for breakfast and it's between 9 and 11, I actually think this is a, a definite go-to spot. Yeah. It's, it's not super cheap, but like I said, you can make it uh, more affordable by splitting the pizza, perhaps. Or... Yeah, the, I think the pizza is a good one to do with like a couple of people. Maybe if you know you're going to eat later, you don't want to fill up too much on breakfast. Yeah. You can do it with like I'd even go as far as like three people, two slices each. But um, the you're paying for quality. Though. There's discounts here too. There's DVC cast member and uh, annual pass holders as yep. well, so you can bring down the price a little bit too if you are one of those people. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I think it was good. Craig, Craig said if you come early at this time of day, it's very much majestic of you um it's uh it's it's quieter down here you're in that kind of in the nook and you can work your way back to Dis the rest of disney springs going down the other way so i recommend it yeah so uh that's it um if you are if you want to leave us a comment about future places to go that you're interested in or menu items or anything like that please do so um in the comment section below if you are not subscribed to the channel you can go ahead and subscribe and click the bell and get notified whenever we upload content like this in the parks at disney world universal disneyland wherever we go oh, cool. so that is going to do it for now we will see you next time goodbye